What's going on guys, Archer here with my thoughts on Black Ops 4. Before I wasn't going to play Black Ops 4, I was looking at it and I was just like, I can't get into what they're doing with the, the season pass and how the game is still during this barbaric, predatorial uh, attack of, of, of gamers where other games are going a bit more pleasant when it comes to, you know, you don't have to pay for all of these extra things. Everything's for you and for your friends and only thing you have to worry about paying for is, you know, microtransactions, which everyone's like, okay, I don't mind loot boxes, I don't mind cosmetics if I don't have to worry about anything else other than just paying for those. And so other games are evolving when it comes to that. And Call of Duty is still in that that old time period of no, you're gonna spend sixty bucks for the game, then another fifty four season pass, and even more money for microtransactions, and that turned me off from Black Ops. Now I ended up getting the game, and to be honest, it's not bad. And that's kind of the the thing that you won't hear a lot of people talk about when it comes to Black Ops 4 is how good it actually is. And I saw a friend of mine make a tweet, and it was you know rank all the Call of Duty games from best to worst, and you know which had the best graphics and all things like that, best story, who was the worst Call of Duty game. And I had commented saying Black Ops 4 has the most potential. Right now, it's not an amazing game. It's a good game, but it's not an amazing game. And part of that is because there's a lot of issues with the game that that holds it back so potential means it is not there yet but it could be a great game and Black Ops 4 is that it could be a great game and you just need to fix a lot of things but before we talk about what those things are let's talk about the positive first and foremost visually the, the game looks good not a problem I know people get tired of the the art style the, the graphics of Call of Duty games but they work they work for the time periods they work for the game they work for how the game performs and they don't need to, to go crazy with visuals when it comes to a Call of Duty game. You don't need to have outstanding graphics for Call of Duty. It's a shooter. It's not an RPG. It's not a storage of a game. It's just a shooter. The gunplay, the guns work very, very well. I think they're all, for the most part, there are some guns that need to get touched up. But for the most part, the gunplay is, is balanced. Now, when I say most part, that, that does not include the, the uh, light machine guns those are the only guns in the game that I think needs to get touched up because they're overpowered you know right now when it comes to the current meta of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 everyone is, is just sitting in corners head glitching with light machine guns and it's because Black Ops does this weird thing where every gun in the game in terms of class is good like machine guns are good SMGs are good rifles are good Sniper rifles are good, shotguns are good, pistols are good, everything is good. So they have that mindset of if everything's good, nothing can be sh too strong. The problem with that is you have like machine guns who have long range, a lot of bullets, a lot of damage, and you can just sit there and just be accurate firing downhill at the entire uh, other team. And that makes for a lot of imbalanced gunplay because usually in shooters, Light machine guns are suppressive fire. They're not used to do a lot of damage. They're not used to, you know, get a lot of kills. They're used to just, you know, suppress the area, you know, mow down a, a, a whole crowd. Not, you know, individual, not individual, you know, gunplay. So you're not gonna see a light machine gun in other shooters that could take on a SMG or AR in a close range gunfight and win. Blackouts different. The, the second you see someone light machine gun, you're dead. Just like that, snap a finger, you're done. It doesn't matter how close you are, it doesn't matter how far you are, light machine guns in Black Ops 4 are overpowered and they dominate. Now, getting back to the good though, light machine guns might be overpowered, but SMGs, very, very balanced. They, they don't have a lot of range, they do a lot of damage close range, not a lot of damage long range. That's all good, that's how they, they're supposed to work. ARs, kind of similar, you know, they have a little bit more range, but not too much range, just like how they're supposed to be. They do have the sniper rifles, they do too much damage when it comes to close range gunfights. You know, I guess it makes sense in, uh, uh, theoretically because it's a sniper rifle, and I just don't like the fact that they're basically a shotgun with range. That's how they perform in the game, but it's all still good though. Uh, the maps in the game are great. To me, a lot of all the maps in the game, outside of like Hacienda, are good maps. But the community kind of screws up with how the maps play, and that kind of makes the game seems worse than it actually is. But I'll talk about that later in the video. But the maps themselves are all good. Slums is back in the game. Fire Range, Summit, they're they're good. They're all good maps for the most part. Um, the specialists, they're outside of one, they're all good, so it's not really an issue with those specialists. They're, they're all pretty balanced outside of just one specialist. Um, I like I like how they work, I like how they perform, I like how they they mesh together. The game modes, it's Call of Duty. What do you expect? The game modes. I mostly play Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm. I don't really touch the other game modes, but I did play Domination. 
this is domination the thing about quality games is you know what you're going to get when you play these games that's kind of why they're popular they're pick up and put them down kind of video games you pick up a black ops game you know you're playing black ops you know you're going to get this kind of game style you're going to get these kind of kill streaks. you're going to get these kind of game modes you're not getting things that are new and innovative and that's okay from that the standpoint of hey i want a call of duty game not a call of duty slash battlefield slash battlefront slash titanfall game no I just want a Call of Duty game, and that's what gamers want. Gamers want their game, not a game that's a combination of other games. And Black Ops does a good job at keeping to being a Treyarch-style game. Now, that does not mean that it's all perfect. A lot of things in Black Ops 4 has issues. For one, I mentioned the, 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 the like machine guns. Now there's a specialist, Torque. Torque caters to Campy, and that's kind of the issue overall with Black Ops 4. A lot of the specialists, which is not their own fault, you can't blame the specialists for how the community plays, but they cater to a very stationary playstyle. And the community and, and Call of Duty games have always favored what can I do damage with without risking my own life for, which involves camping. So the, the community makes the game worse than it actually is by having this camping playstyle and wanting to just sit stationary the entire time. They're abusing Torque, abusing Nomad in ways of camping and not moving around. And I know you're going to say, but I spent money in the game, I can play how I want to play. Understand this, you are ruining the game if you are playing a stationary playstyle. You're ruining the game if you're camping. You're ruining the game if you're abusing things that shouldn't work the way that, that it works. If I'm playing Fire Range, that map is known for being an action-packed badass map where everyone's running around, kill trees going off crazy, and things like that. In Black Ops 4, Fire Range is basically one team camps, the other team tries to exterminate the campers, and then when that team does that, they camp, so you, th that other team who got pushed out is now an exterminator. So you're basically just rotating who is and who isn't the camper, and who can push out the campers, and vice versa. If you can't push the campers out, you're going to lose. And I, no one wants to play a game like that. No one wants to play... You know, we're just hunting people down who are camping, and then that's it. You want to play a fast-paced, action-packed shooter. A lot of times I play the uh, Team Deathmatch, the match does not go to the final score, and it's not because there's, there's too much time on the clock, not because there's not enough time on the clock, not because the score limit is too high. It's because people are hiding and camping. You have to, you know, play hide-and-go-seek in a video game, and no one wants to do that. It gets too long, it gets boring, and you lose interest. Then there's the, the time to kill. The time to kill and trade against have always been pretty high, and that's kind of their idea. I mentioned before to my friends that you know, Infinity War has low time to kill, that's how their games work. So you play like Ghost, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, you know, time to kill on those games are short. It takes a few bullets and that's it. Treyarch, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, it takes a long time to kill people. Black Ops 4, it takes even longer than usual. And that, some people say it's, it's the servers, but maybe it is, maybe it's not. To me, I just think they need, need to just dial it back a little bit it shouldn't take my entire clip my gun to kill one person that's a problem like a lot of you watch a lot of streams of call of duty black ops 4 you will notice people are reloading a lot and you notice that people aren't getting multi kills as fast as they normally would in call of duty games because you can't kill a lot of people with one clip so you want to get like one kill with one clip reload then you can keep going for more people so fix that they need to improve the time to kill take it down not, not a lot it doesn't need to be modern warfare 2 style or, or ghost style time to kill but just something you know just it should take at least two to three less bullets than it does to kill somebody. The next thing I would say is Nerf Torque. Um, I don't mind him too much like most people do, but I don't think his shield that he puts down should do as much damage as it does. I think it should be more destructible. I don't. I think if you, it should take like one shot from from uh, batteries, the war machine, to take it out. I think it should take like two or three shots from the annihilator pistol to take it out. The mesh little razor wire, that's fine. I don't really mind it. I just think I don't. The thing about Torque is he's not him himself is not the problem. It's the community, and I'm, I keep saying the community because really this game will be a lot better if the community had balls, if the community moved around and didn't abuse and exploit the game. So they ruin the game more so than the game itself, and that's kind of the problem with Black Ops 4. It is a good game, a very good game. It's probably the best quality game since maybe Black Ops 2. So why are, is so many complaints about the game? It's because as good as it can be, people are, are abusing things, and it's making the game seem worse than it actually is. And it's, you, you kind of get that with with, the, with the thermal scope. Thermal scope should not be in video games. Period. Outside of Rainbow Six Siege, it works with glass. It's balanced with glass. But in Call of Duty games, you should not get people thermal scopes. It promotes camping. It promotes a, a, a playstyle people don't want in their game. So then you have the question of single player. The game doesn't have it. It has these tutorial kind of specialist missions called, you know, Specialist HQ. It's not a story. It's just cutscenes and tutorial missions on how to play each specialist, and that's it. 
So, not really anything to talk about. I mentioned before in the video a long time ago that it's not a big deal that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 doesn't have a campaign because Black Ops 3 campaign was so bad. So, my point is, you know, if it's getting really bad because of campaigns, just don't have them. So, what about Blackout? The, 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 the last thing to cover in this video for my review or impressions of Black Ops 4, Blackout. Blackout is amazing. It's the best Battle Royale out right now. If Battlefield 5 has Battle Royale, maybe it might be better than Blackout, but right now, Blackout is the best Battle Royale experience. It's the most polished experience, it's the most balanced experience. It is amazing, it's great, I love it. I don't play it as much as I should, because I'm usually you know, playing Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirm, but I should play. It. I, I want to play it more because of how good it actually is. It's a very good game, mode, and I recommend anyone who's on any platform to go out and get Black Ops 4, play Blackout, play the game itself. Now, again, the, the biggest issue with the game is not the game itself, it's the community. So, if I gave the game a score, I would give it, you know, an 8 out of 10. You know, that's the highest I would give Black Ops 4 based on the game itself. Now, if I throw in the community being complete shit, the game will drop down to like a, a 6 or a 5 because the community makes the game worse than it actually is. The game is fun. The game is solid. I enjoy playing it. I have a lot of fun playing it. This one, I haven't played Siege in like a week and a half. I haven't played anything other than Black Ops 4 and Black Desert Online when that beta started. So, at the time of this recording, I've only been playing Black Ops for like a good week. And it's it's, 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 it's a good game. It's a great game. I'm not a, a huge Call of Duty fanboy, so if you're thinking to, my, to yourself, Oh, you're, you're, you're being paid by Activision, you're a Call of Duty fanboy, blah 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 blah. I'm not. I haven't even played the last two Call of Duty games. I played Modern Warfare 1, 2, I played Ghost, I played Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, and Black Ops 4. I played Advanced Warfare as well, and that's it. Didn't play World War 2, didn't play Infinite Warfare, didn't play Modern Warfare 3, so I'm not this huge Call of Duty fanboy. I actually hate the Call of Duty franchise. I'm one of the people who always comments on Call of Duty videos, this game's trash, ha ha ha. No one likes Call of Duty, ha ha ha. It's a good game. The whole point is this video is to let you guys know it is indeed a good game, and you should try it out. You know, if you're if you're sitting on a fence, it's like I don't know if I want to play this game or not. Try it out. You know, you have nothing to lose. Don't go out and buy the big editions. Don't go out and buy the season pass. Don't do that. Just buy the base game and go from there. Well, that's it, guys. This video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave any thoughts you have in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.